Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, we're going to be looking at some doors and elevator designs. Now, I've got a few of these off the Steam Workshop to show you. Now, this first one is one I have very similar to one of my first bases I ever built, and this is, of course, a pressure plate operated door. Now, a pressure plate operated door works, of course, on a pressure plate to open a door, but the mechanics behind it are rather interesting, and having something that's automated like this is absolutely amazing. So this particular map is up on the Steam Workshop. It's designed by The Kilroy, and basically he designed some quite interesting doors and elevator concepts. So let me just move ourselves onto the pad. So the concept is what you do is you lock yourself down when your landing gears are in connected. So this is just my ship locking on. So we lock on. And we'll zoom out so we can actually see the action below. So the action's actually below. And you thrust down like this, like so. And I'll show you exactly what it's doing when we go down there in a minute. So this opens the door. You can see the door's starting to open. And I'll explain what is actually happening. So we need to get down below. So what has actually happened is this center beam here is pushed down. And when it's pushed down, it's unhooked this lever here so you can see as it's rotating back the way around it's going to contact that little pad and it's come to a full stop and what this does here is this resets the center alarm so it resets the piston so you can just keep going and going and going again now we have another simple piston mechanism here that actually pushes up the door or pulls down the door and basically that just works on a piston there in this position it's down and when it rotates again it goes up so let's actually go back up towards the door. And now I watched Kilroy's video and he basically says he doesn't like to be taken out of the immersion, the experience. So this is really good not to have to fiddle around with control panels and all that. You can simply just land on that pad, pressure it, go yourself in here. So I'm just going to move myself into here. And then you just place your ship down, park it up and fly it on your way out. So I'm just going to go out. And then on the way out, what you can do to close your door is you just repeat the same process so if we just go down onto the deck like so and we actually just pressure and then we accelerate down with our C key and you can see the door is going to be reset at the bottom so that contacts that and that resets that piston hinge on again and then the door starts to come up now just look how beautiful and smooth that is now he's done a great job on doing this and when I redid mine I managed to hide a little bit of the wiring and stuff underneath but it's still quite a bulky bit to have so you have to make some room for that maybe add a little bit, bit to your hanger but just look at the smoothness of that as it comes up absolutely beautiful a great way and hopefully that's a little bit of inspiration anyway let's move on to the next design now this is an elevator and a door all in one now the door itself is very interesting because it's actually using a cross sort of pattern that intersects each other and it looks absolutely beautiful hardly a gap at all beautiful right now let's get this thing started up and we'll talk about the mechanics behind it now we need to access this and we need to use this door switch here now this is designed by pep off the steam workshop there'll be a link in the description below and it is very simple but very effective now we just need we want to be careful with this now minus 18 perfect so the doors are slowly opening you can see how that's working there and we'll just slide ourselves in as soon as possible so we can see how it's working so we're using one motor for this design and what it's doing is as it's pushing up this landing pad it's pushing across here so it's actually making this gate run along these sort of girders absolutely perfectly really smoothly and if we go underneath, we have a simple piston operated system. So as that piston is activated, it starts to rotate around, pushing up the landing pad in turn, pushing up the actual doors as well. So the doors are opening as well. And you get this almost amazing experience. I mean, this is just like, I don't know if you ever watched that UFO TV series. From, I think from the 80s or 90s. And it's like, do 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 so sorry about that but yeah it's just absolutely amazing as your ship comes up i mean it's just it's just absolute immersion i mean if you do these simple little things to your space station or even your ship you just get so much better experience out of it i mean building something like this in survival as well is going to take so much skill and so much challenge to actually get something but the doors have retracted the platform's coming up and it, it just, it's just working so simple off off that little simple one rotor design so it's coming up here and it even can be locked in place if it's necessary 
So my little ship is raising to the surface. I mean, maybe it's not the fastest way of deploying something, but it looks damn cool. And if it looks cool, it's going to be awesome. I mean, if a friend sees you build something like this, oh my god, he'll just be like, um, can I have one? But, oh, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And once it comes to the top, it sits absolutely flush with this. It's just a, it's just an amazing work of art. It's, it's, it's art. It's beautiful. So you can see it's coming to the surface. And the mechanical know-how to get everything like this is lining up his, his measurements down to a, just a fine key. So there we go. There's the ship back up. And we've got a slight little bit of bouncing. And now let's lower it back down. So we move back over to here. And we put that on positive 18. Let's actually let's put a bit of speed up on it and see see if it goes any faster. Yes, it does go faster, but not very safely. So quick stop, 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 stop. How do we stop this? Is the emergency stop button? No. Um just go slower, please. Thank you. Yeah, so don't rush it. That's that's the that's the tip. Don't rush it. Let it let it take its time. Slow slow is safety, basically. And if you want your ship to survive, you, you're going to want to nice, deploy it nice and slowly, nice and safely. But yeah, it doesn't seem like we've got many damage. It just seems like we've got a bit of sparking. And that's never nice. But yeah, it's a beautiful system. Works off one rotor. And just the piston drives up the actual elevator. That then pushes onto the door. That then drives the door sideways and opens. And you have a beautiful hangar. So go and check Pep's design out. Link's in the description. Now let's move on. So we've just arrived at another door. Now this is another door done by the Kilroy. He does do some quite high quality manufacturing of doors. I have to say he's, he's very, very precise on these doors when he builds them. So this is just a simple rotary door that uses two rotors. I'll just show you. I'll get in the mechanics of it below. Now this is one rotor and basically it rotates into one position. And then when you switch it the opposite way around, you rotate it into the other. So let's get this thing operational. So as we rotate them rotors, one will lock into a different place and the door will come down. Now, all we have to do is get ourselves up to the front position. And it's as simply it's as simple as interacting with the door itself. So we can see here door exterior, oh close motor, open motor. So we need to open the door. So we need to turn off this one and turn on that one. So this should begin the door opening. So the door flings back, just like I've shown you in some of the other videos. And it's got this very nice and simple, almost organic sort of roll back to it. And it comes down. There's a little bit of bouncing, but that doesn't really matter. This is just a much more simple design. If you've not got the time to build one of the other ones, this is definitely something I would try. So we're going to just fly on in. And we also can close this one from the inside. So we're just going to move back onto our landing pad, get ourselves in position. And land ourselves down. So we're locked in place there. And if we head down into the basement below. We can actually interact with the door once again. And all we have to do is turn the on motor off. And the closed motor on. And the door goes back up into a sealed position. Now another very simple design. And it works very well. And this is something that if it got damaged. If it got destroyed. You could repair it quite easily. It's probably about 20 minutes. 30 minutes of repairing. Once you've got the actual design in your head, it's just working out them core elements to start with of how it actually needs to fit into each of the positions and measuring. Once you've got the measurements correct, you can just repeat the process. So guys, hopefully this has given you some inspiration and ideas on how to build your own doors and elevators. And I want to thank the guys that are featured in these videos today. And make sure you go and check out the links in the description to their works on the Steam Workshop. And if you're struggling, it's a great reference to help you build. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.